Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. First thing, I'd like to invite anybody who's watching this on YouTube. Uh, if you have something you'd like to us to address in in these in these uh, meetings, uh, please just leave a, a mention in the in the comments column, or you can send me an email. And uh, uh, happy to to look at that. And always looking for things that get people excited, questions that they might have, and and even if it's just a short one off, we can we can address those things and move on to other things. So uh, please, uh, if you have anything or if um, what we're doing sparks your interest, sparks questions, then uh, please uh, send, me, uh, send me a note. I'd love to hear from you and I'd uh, love to get some feedback about what uh, how, how this is going for you. So uh, uh, moving on, uh, today I'd like to do some, explore some more of the Bagua Zhang energy. And just to review, Bagua Zhang is one of the, uh, uh, the three primary internal Chinese internal martial arts. And it is um, characterized by a lot of circular walking and a lot of twisting and spiraling in place and, and very opening and freeing. It's a very different, the energy of it is very different from Taiji Quan to my, to my mind. And uh, so I'd like to, to give you a taste of what that feels like. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different orientation that we have with, with Taiji Tran. And uh, we won't get too deep into it. It's a, it generally it gobbles up a bit of space to do and, and that doesn't lend itself uh, really well to, uh, to a, a Zoom uh, class. But um, we can still explore the energy of it by uh, in, a, in a much more confined space. Someone suggested phone booth Bagua, and I don't think we're going to be able to get it that tight, but we'll get it. Uh, we're not going to do a lot of moving, so that put it that way. Uh, so the, what, the characteristic of Bagua, what makes it unique, I think, is uh, the fact that it's it's addressing, it gets its energy from addressing the uh, the heaven, the energy of the heavens and earth, and the energy of the, of the eight directions. And by eight directions, the, you know, we got the four primary compass directions, north, south, east, west, and then the also the points in between. And so that is the, uh, what it does is, for me, is it opens up the space quite a bit by feeling your relationship to these different directions, also heaven and earth, and being able to, to move through that. The other qualities that we see in the other internal martial arts also appear here. The uh, yin-yang, which is emphasized in uh, Tai Chi Chuan, and the five elements um, is also... Uh, that we see in, in Xing Yi Chuan. You know, they are also emphasized in, in Bagua Zhang, but the, uh, you know, that primary uh, emphasis is on your relationship to your external environment and how that affects you internally. And so, as I say, that the energy of it is, is quite a bit different for me than, uh, than uh, say, Tai Chi Chuan. And um, it has a lot to do with the fact that it really opens you up, particularly like the chest and shoulders. You really get this kind of expansiveness, which is pretty cool. And uh, also, you're by relating to heaven and earth, you're you're emphasizing the central equilibrium. And so there's your the the turns are pivoting around an axis that is uh, you know, along your central equilibrium, which is constantly changing. So since you're moving constantly, there's, you're, ha you're having to adjust your central equilibrium many, many times, even you know, sometimes several times a second as you're, as you're going along. You're, it's, a, uh, it's a constant adjustment, which is 
develops a, a, a an awareness in you of your 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 center and how that relates to the world around you and also how to to generate power from that rotation you're uh, you're drawing power from the from the four primary directions you know which correspond to uh the elements and your internal organs so by being aware of say facing south which is now we're in the in the in the summer part of the calendar so we're facing south which then you you absorb the energy of the south which stimulates your heart and your uh, fire chi and you're also the energy that nurtures the heart which is the energy of spring or wood and that is your liver so that is emphasized more than the others in this season and other seasons then you're going to go in different directions so what we uh you know we'll be doing it we will be kind of conjuring up the idea that we're facing south even if as you're facing your computer screen you're not you're facing some other direction pretend pretend you're facing south and then you can make your adjustments whenever you do this on your own but for right now the uh just having the concept there of, of like oh I'm, I'm receiving this fire chi the heart energy from the south which is uh related to the emotion of joy so you're getting this uh, this feeling of elation that comes from the receiving that energy and so but you're while you're also while you're facing south you're aware of the shadow side which is north and that's your kidney and and that's water chi and the two go together so both are feeding you and you're receptive of that and similarly whenever you face east you're getting the wood chi and that's you know feeding, feeding your liver uh, but behind you the the uh the shadow of that is you know the uh, energy of autumn which is uh, uh your metal energy and that has to do with your lungs so we these go together and they revolve around the center point which is earth and earth contains all the other elements but it is its own unique element in of itself and that is the one that centers it gathers everything together it uh it provides a stable power etc so it's a uh and that's your spleen so these there's a the seasons go in a way that nurtures your health so in other words springtime is liver which feeds your heart which is summer which feeds your where your spleen which is earth which feeds your lungs which is metal which then feeds your kidney which is uh water and so and that goes cycles around and around through the season but also every moment your your energy is going and the more you can align according to chinese medicine the more you can align yourself to this cycle of energy this cycle of the seasons the elements then you are promoting your harmo the harmonious cooperation amongst all your internal organs and it feeds everything else. So uh, uh, and we're going to be doing that. We you know, we'll be I'll be facing you and and that way uh, we're going to assume that we're going to call that south for our purposes now, even though you can you can make the adjustment later whenever you're doing this on your own so let's uh stand up and we'll uh have some fun with this Okay, so first let's get into our uh, our three pillars. We want to occupy the space we're in. 
and stillness. We're going to begin and feel the balls of your feet. You want to settle your weight over the balls of your feet. Feel your whole foot touching the ground. Feel your toes touching the ground. But you want to center it around the ball of your foot. On the inside of the foot. And relax into that. Settle down into that and ah, let go. This is where we establish our sung. This is an intentional thing. We feel ourselves dropping down to meet the earth. But we do it internally. We're not going to squat down. We're going to just release down, release the resistance to the earth. And by doing so, we allow ourselves to contact the yin chi of the earth and orient to that. That's our point of departure there. And we establish the opposing pole with the, the heavens, the sky, the yang chi, and reach up with the crown of the head. Tuck in your chin and open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. Feel yourself relaxing, your body's relaxing down. Everything except for the crown of your head, which is reaching up. So we're getting these, this young impulse to reach up into the heavens, the yin impulse to sink down into the earth. <laughs> By opening the jade pillow gate, you allow the energy to move freely along your spine and into your brain. This allows the Jing Chen, the spirit of vitality, to circulate throughout your whole body. And you can feel it right now. Feel into your hands and notice that your, your arms, your hands are filling up with energy as, you, as we do this. You, if you can't feel the energies as a, as a distinct thing, feel it as, as the increased circulation of blood as the two follow each other, the chi and the, and the blood, they follow each other. So feel the increased circulation in your hands and in your fingers. Feel the tingling and pulsing. I'm going to reach out a little bit with your elbows. Notice how my arms are not collapsed like this. But just by creating this slight roundedness with the elbows, I create a form which allows the energy to circulate more freely. It also opens up the shoulder joints, allows the energy to move freely through that. Because a, a lot of times we kink the hose with shoulder tension and just this simple act of reaching with your elbows, reaching with your fingers, can create space in your shoulder joints. Relax your lower back and allow your, your sacrum to drop. Feel your coccyx, your tailbone pointing down to the earth. And so your hips are squaring up. So they're leveling out as you do this. Point and reach with your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence in your body and as well as the tensegrity. Feel the, that, that connective tissue being brought into a state of uh, Tensegrity or, or that tensional integrity, where it's like uh, think of it as tuning a guitar string. So you want to get it to the exact right amount of tension. You don't want the 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 connective tissue to be totally slack, but you want it to, you don't want it to be overly tight either. You want to tune it so that it does the job you want it to do. 
And that means to allow the energy to flow freely throughout your entire body, connecting every cell in your body. And then release your hip joints, just very gently kind of move and just allow yourself to, to feel the hua settling out, feel that Feel that sung, that allowing that to drop down. Okay, now reach with your wrist, and just bring them up a little bit, not very high. And just, just feel that. You want to reach with the fingers, and as you do that, you kind of. Sit back into your heels and feel yourself moving away. Your body is withdrawing from your, from your arms. Your arms are reaching forward. Your body is pulling back. And then pull your hands back and body comes forward. We're establishing these poles in opposition. Body goes back, hands go forward. <laughs> to feel the effect that has on on your energy where just by the simple action of pulling of, of creating these poles in oppositions we're generating a chi flow throughout the body pull back body comes forward feel that and now put your heels and Sink down, hands come down. Feel yourself sinking. This is, we're going to the yin phase here. We're moving into the heels, settling into that, and feel the yin. That means the energy. Feel it kind of going down, flushing through your body, going through the, through the, the soles of your feet into the earth. into the balls of your feet, reach with your wrists. <clears throat> and come up to about chest height this time. And reach with the fingers, open. As you extend out, and move your body back, away from your hands. And pull with your fingers and body comes forward. Reach with your fingers, body goes back. I want you to make it even smaller. Just you pull back this time, your body only goes just a very small distance. Your hand only goes small distance. You reach out. And go back, and your body goes back. You feel that even smaller. And so, as we do this, body, we pull your hands back, body comes forward, even smaller, and then forward. And so, just feel to get to a point where now you can feel yourself reaching, but your body is not moving. Your arms are not moving. You're pulling, and your body's not moving. So, just feeling in this stationary posture, how you're able to generate chi, chi flow throughout the whole system without moving at all, just by using your intent. But you're also feeling some changes inside your body. You're reaching, you're using your body to extend and pull back and <clears throat> feeling that, but very small. Hands come down, go into your heels, feel the yin. Sinking, sinking, sinking. Feel the chi in your arms and your hands.
So, now rotate your palms, face forward, and open your chest, open your throat, and just feel the 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 chi of the uh, of the south coming in. Feel that fire chi, and you want to absorb it. It's like you're you're asking the direction. You're asking the south to give to you its chi. And there's an infinite, virtually infinite amount of chi out there. So what we're doing is we're saying, oh yeah, give me as much. I want to take in as much as as, as I can tolerate. And at the same time, you're feeling behind you the coolness of the water, of the earth, of the of the uh, of the uh, the kidney energy from behind, and just feel that and allow the joy. Feel that sense of just good feeling coming up and filling your body. And let that go and return. Rotate your palms. Sink. Yeah, let that go. Let it feel the yin and just allow that to disappear. Now we're going to do some very simple Bagua motions. And the point here is to feel the the energy that accompanies these simple motions. Because each of these motions is, is kind of unique. So you wanna you wanna get that appreciated for its own thing. So for, to do this, you want to sink into the heel of your left foot and turn, pivot on your your right foot and turn your body and twist so that now you're looking back at the wall behind you. Your head turns with that and you're, you're, you're looking back at the, at the wall behind you. And now you turn, rotate, you pivot on your, your heel and feel, feel the other heel and you sink into the, uh, I'm sinking to the right leg. So you turn, pivot on your left heel and turn and you're looking behind you. So what we're doing is we're opening up our space. And then turn, pivot on your left heel, back to center. So ordinarily we have this orientation in the front of us with, uh, with our eyes. So Mbagwa, we're gonna open up the space. We're gonna do that again. Pivot on the right heel, turn to the right. And you're looking behind you. Feel your body twisting. Very different than Tai Chi Chuan here, and then we're we're not keeping our 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 shoulders and our hips centered. We're we're twisting so that the whole body is getting into that that spiraling energy that accompanies this. Pivot on the right heel, turn, sink into your right foot, and pivot on your left and turn. And you're looking behind you. So as you're doing this, you want to be cognizant of your central equilibrium. Back to center. So we're rotating on this axis as we do this. So now we're going to reach out with the right hand. So bring your right wrist up, reach out with the right hand, extend. And this time you're gonna pivot, rotate your palm so that your thumb is down. You're, you're gonna pivot and turn, pivoting on your right heel and turning behind you. 
So you're reaching behind with your right hand. And just feel that, feel that extension to the, uh, to the direction behind you, to the north as you're reaching back there. And then turn, pivot on your right heel, bring your left hand under the right arm, come under the armpit here, reach around and turn, reach with the left hand. Pivot. Right hand comes under. Turn, pivot, turn to the right and reach. Feel that extension, opening your shoulder. You're giving your, notice you're, you're giving your arm a, a turn there, right? So it's, you're, you're feeling the spiral. The spiral is extending all the way to your, all the way to your fingertips. And you turn back, pivot on your right heel, left hand <laughs> comes up, rotate, and turn. Feel that extension. You want to relax your shoulders. You're extending out, reaching with your left arm, but you're not tightening your shoulders as you're doing it. You're, you're relaxing as much as you can. Feel the energy in your arms, feel the energy in your hands as you do that. And then turn back. And facing front. Hands come down. Sink in your heels. And just allow that energy to circulate. Very simple thing that we just did, but it has uh, significant implications. Your, your body will feel something is going on that is out of the ordinary. And we're doing it nice and slow here. So there's a uh, opportunity to really feel into the subtle changes that are occurring at the at an, an interior level. You now reach with your wrists, go to the balls of your feet, hands come up. Reach with the fingers. And rotate your palms so they're you're facing. Your hands are about chest height. Just feel the, the energy that you reach with your elbows, reach with your wrists. Your wrists are bent, so your, your palms are facing forward. You're opening your shoulder joints by reaching with the elbows and feel that, and doing that also opens your back. You want to feel the connection so that your arms are one, one circuit. So now we're going to pivot on the right heel and turn and looking behind you and pressing with your hands. Feel that spiraling through your feet, through your body, all the way out to your fingertips. Pivot on your right heel, turn. And turn to your left. Mindful of that central axis. Feel reaching with your elbows, reaching with your fingers, your hand, your, your arms, your, uh, your wrists. reaching with the crown of your head, mindful of that connection from the earth and the sky. 
Pivot and turn. Pivot on your right heel and turn. Open. Pivot on your right heel. Your left heel. Back to center. Hold that a moment. And just feel the energy circulating, opening the shoulder joints, opening the back, and then reach palms down, go to your heels, and feel the yin. Feel yourself sinking into the earth, very soon releasing down. And bring your right hand up the center line and reach out to the side opening your chest, reaching out with your, your the, the heel of your hand, opening, opening the, the chest, opening the shoulder, feeling the lengthening of the sinews. Feel that tensegrity that extends throughout your whole body. back to center and take the left hand and reach out. Open, just feel that opening there, feel that lengthening. You'll feel the, the, the sinews in your arms kind of, you're, you're, you're giving them a bit of a stretch as you reach out. And then back to center. Uh, this time, take your left hand and you're reaching out your left hand under your navel. Actually, we're going to do a different. We're going to you're going to take your left. You're going to rotate so that your thumb is pointing at your navel. So your arm is round. Notice here with my thumb pointing it at the navel. So there's, this is the, the, uh, the, the direction here. So I have my hand right on my center line. The thumb is pointing there. My right hand is going out this way. I'm going to go the other way, go into my left hand and reach out with my left hand, my right hand. Just feel into that. I'm breaking down these moves so that you can really get a chance to feel the component parts and what they contribute to the overall posture. And right hand comes under and reach out with the right. And the left, I'm sorry, left hand palm down, thumb pointing at your, your, your navel. And left hand up, right hand down, pointing at your navel. Good. Right hand comes under the armpit. And now we're going to pivot on the right heel and turn. So we're reaching back with the right hand, left hand palm down, thumb pointing at the navel, arm rounded. Shoulders open, spine is uh, is vertical, but it's also it's it, there's a spiral there. Everything is spiraling. And turn, pivot on your right heel, 
Left hand comes under your armpit and pivot on your left heel. And the left hand is reaching behind you. Feel that extension. Pivot on your left heel, right hand comes under the armpit. Turn, pivot on your right heel. And reach. Really want to give the body a nice twist on this. You're feeling that, you're feeling the body is opening the more you do it. Getting used to the idea of the, the spiraling. Turn, pivot on your right heel, and on down, reach with your left hand. You want the left hand to be about head high. And turn, back to center. Put your heels sink and release. Feel the end. Feel that emptying out. With the ball to your feet, reach with your wrists, reach with the fingers, hands come down, go to your heels. This time, right hand comes up. And left hand, palm up. As we turn, we're, <coughs> actually, let's go back, go back, I'm sorry, get, we're gonna, gonna do a different one. We're gonna go, palm, right hand comes up and the left hand goes palm up. Both hands are palm up. So we're getting, this is a yin attraction here. We're reaching up with the, with the left hand reaching back with the right hand, both palms up and feel that extension. So here just, we are asking the, the, the young energy to come down. We're receiving the young of the heavens. Turn, Pivot on your right heel, left hand comes under. Right hand comes up. Reach behind with your left hand. Feel that you're gathering the chi. The young chi of the heavens is coming down, filling your body. Exiting through your feet. Turn, reach with your right under, turn, pivot on your right heel, left hand comes up, open, feel that, feel your shoulders, feel your chest, everything is getting very open, pivot on your right heel. Left hand under the armpit and right hand up, left hand reaching back. Turn. Palms up. Rotate and press down, sink into your heels. Feel 
feel the yin as it goes. All that energy is going down through the soles of your feet into the earth. The yin chi of the earth is rising to fill your body. Feel the center. Feel the earth is your, your dead center right now. Attracting all the elements. Wood, fire, metal, water. And combine them into the earth. Letting them feed your internal organs. Contributing to your vitality. Step in with your left foot. Take a deep breath, inhale. Yang, go to the balls of your feet, gather, 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 reaching up. And exhale at your heels, sink, and throw away the chi. Allow yourself to sink into the emptiness. There will be chi, but it's not going to be the same stuff that you just got rid of. You're plugged into the big chi now, and the chi of the earth and the sky, the chi of the, of the eight directions are all filling you, and allowing that to circulate. You're receiving the gifts of the universe. Please have a seat. Hi, Leticia. Ah. Uh. How'd that go? Nobody came to my class, so I could come to yours. <laughs> <laughs> Their loss, our gain. <laughs> I love it. It was the best gift ever. It feels so much energy. So much Wonderful. healing. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Great. <laughs> uh, welcome. Good. How'd that go, people? Valerie. <laughs> I couldn't sit here and make that loud noise. It would have been too much. <laughs> it felt good, did it? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Valerie. That was about as close to a phone booth as you could get. And um, it was wonderful. Just you, you with really the fact that it you, you, there's a real difference, Valerie. I, I was going to suggest we all just watch you take a nap earlier. Yeah. But you look really alive, I have to tell you. Terrific. Good. Cool. Anybody else? Nick. I see hot. I see hot. <laughs> I, I see hot. Okay. <laughs> cool. My hands are really cold, and they're never cold. Yeah, right? it's. I mean, you know, when doing Tai Chi. Yeah, no, it's uh, really. I was just hot. Everything hot. else is really warm, but. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. It's icy hot. Cool. Yeah. I got uh, super hot, just like warm all over doing it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's like. It, uh, it, 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 a, lot, a lot of that, yeah, that, that, um, Fire chi uh, floating through the system there. 
Yeah. So it uh, gets get really just fires it up. Jonathan. I love, you know, for me, this is such a, I love that you took it and, and sort of slow moved it and still shot it. it it's almost to me like uh, so much of what you do is think dual, be non-dual. It's like be dual to get to the non-dual. And it's especially that turn where you're going behind here, but you can counterbalance it with going the other direction here. It seems like any time you create a duality, whether it's just going forward, backward, the elbows going out, there's a certain joyfulness, and it's as if an inert system, the plug just got turned on, and now the, you're, you're, you're operating. You're like an electrical system, whereas before you were inert. It just, just by almost any pole in opposition. So to discover new subtle ones, which I thought, because in Bagua, it always, since it's always in movement, I don't really have time to really appreciate it, but when you still it down and when you're going behind here you're going the other direction here to keep that spiral right that that tension yeah yeah there's a real just joyfulness anytime it seems to me you create that kind of duality <laughs> but it's like an almost like a non-dual joy it's it's, it's it's so it's it's a paradox so think dual be non-dual that's what came to me as i was doing this eloquently stated that was, that was that was brilliant yes yeah so we we move in that state of wholeness which is unbroken. It's it's it is as you say non-dual. But how do we get there? Oh, we we create the separation. We create the poles in opposition. It, it's that uh, incredible paradox that is that is so much of the uh, the uh, Chinese internal martial arts that we're doing this incredible dance there. You know, we go to the Taiji, which is whole, and then but to, we split it apart into yin and yang. And we keep going back and forth between the uh, between them, and so we're able to to comfortably move between dual and non-dual, and just be able to occupy either position in our awareness at any at any time we like. Scott, so um, it was perfect as far as you know being able to do this over Zoom because. It's hard, you know, it's hard to follow when you're moving fast on Zoom because everything's weird, you know. So it was it was perfect speed and everything. It was great. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, the beginning when we were doing the meditation, I got earth like I don't think I've ever had earth before. <laughs> Me it too. Was, I got like, whoa. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. It, it, was, it was yeah it was it was, it was a solid but moving at the same time somehow it was really weird <laughs> very cool liquid earth <laughs> yeah and uh you can definitely feel it definitely feel creating more space in the body I mean, really nice. you can just feel it as it's going and one question um is there is it um can you twist too far because I'm very flexible, I can twist. I can twist really far. Um, I mean, as long as I'm not hurting myself, obviously. Yeah, I, I think you'll 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 feel it. I, I you know, it the, the ability to, to to twist is a it's it's one that we don't cultivate very often in so much of what we do in the uh, in particularly in, in in Tai Chi Tran. It's it's you know everything is kind of you know the torso moves as a as a unit but to have this this spiraling energy is is kind of cool it it's like oh boy i'm allowed to twist now yay you know <laughs> so and uh so it uh it frees up you know the whole system you get that you know that mm, and, and there's there's something really mm, uh, elemental about that spiral mm. you know it's like it's you know, it's 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 said to be the the most fundamental pattern in the universe is the spiral, and so it feels like we're tapping into something primordial whenever we whenever we feel it in the body. We're saying, "Oh, okay, yeah, bring that. I want some more of that. That brings me all the way back to the to the very beginning," and that that's kind of cool. Richard, um, I just. Uh... I'm just curious as to whether you have any comments about protecting your knees. Uh, yeah, um, well, the, the same principles apply. 
um, with, you know, uh, as in Taiji Tran. That is, you, know, you set the foot, either the heel or the ball, depending on whether you want yin or yang. And then as you're turning, you know, your, 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 uh, your turn is happening above the knee. So you're not twisting the knee, you know, it, uh, you're feeling the spiral, but the, the knee is set as you're doing it. So the, you, the, the, the knee aligns with the foot. So I think that's the, uh, that's, that's the way. So you're, you're feeling into that and you're, you're issuing power along the lines that of, of the lines of force in your body. I, I don't know if that, that came across, uh, but I, yeah, just to show you what, you know, what I'm talking about here is, you know, if I, if I'm twisting, you know, let's say I'm, I got my knee here and I'm going to twist, my action's happening here. Notice my knee is still there. So as I'm, as I'm turning, boom, my knee is still, my still so, so the twist is happening from the claw and my torso is turning, but my knee stays where it is. And so and I guess this goes back to Scott's question is, can I twist too far? And I'd say, yeah, if it hurts your knee, if you feel the tug on your knee, then back it off. You know, don't, don't go any farther than, than, than your body is going to say, it'll, it'll, it'll tell you that, yeah, don't go past this point. So you set the knee, you get established that, that foundation, and then you turn off of that. And so you always have a really rooted, substantial foundation on which to operate. Thank you. I think that's, I think that's important, especially for those people who, who haven't, like most of us, been learning to protect our knees for a long time. Right. Yeah. So my, my knees have been chewed up over the years. So I, <laughs> I have I, a lot of what I'm talking about comes from, from the school of hard knocks and, and uh, how I've learned to protect my knees by, by doing exactly what I said there. So I'm not using my knee to generate power. I'm it's, it's the, it's the, the, the fulcrum, you know, that, that uh, I'm able to issue power around. So they, it comes from the lever rather than from the fulcrum. And so I set that and that's my, that's a, that's a fixed point. Thank you very much. That, okay. Yes, Leticia. I felt like um, I've been having like a lot of stuck emotions that feeling and not really able to feel. And in this experience, I was just feeling like the energy was moving of all of that stagnation without really even pointing out or feeling or whatever. It was just like, I was feeling like the movements, like getting out of the body. So it was pretty interesting, like very powerful. <laughs> great, great. So the, you felt the energy moving through more so, you know, like you're clearing out stagnation by yeah. uh, the movements. Fantastic. That's, that's exactly what we're hoping for. Bye opening up you know the joints like that it's like you know it says yes, it was like yes. Like we're not hanging on of like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah i feel a tremendous power from these 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 mo these positions do does anybody else feel the same that oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like it really has this this uh sinewy you know kind of bamboo kind of power you know, it, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's supple, but incredibly strong. Yeah, I loved it. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. It was a lot of fun. And um, uh, people on YouTube, yeah, please send me your, send me your requests and comments and questions and, and see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Thanks, Maria. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria.